This is about electrical safety and the bathroom. Why don't we have normal electric switches and sockets inside the bathroom? Why are they outside? And if there is a light switch in the bathroom, it's actually a long um, string which you can pull. So we just have a quick explore and compare what happens with wet skin and dry skin. So I'm going to show you what my resistance is. When I hold these two probes, so they are measuring resistance, um, and I'm just going to hold the ends of the probes and find out what my resistance is. Now I know that it's actually way more than the 2000 ohms. I actually know it's more than 20,200. I think I'll probably have to go onto that scale for my dry skin. So when I hold the two probes tightly, and this does vary, I'm afraid, but around the 800, 850,000 ohms, or about 900,000 ohms for dry skin, clutching onto these tight leaves, fluctuating a bit, maybe around the 950, 960 um, ohms when I'm holding the probes of dry skin. Now what happens if I wet my skin? So I've just dipped my fingers in water. That's all I've done. And I'm just going to hold the two probes around the 950. And we've dropped. We've dropped actually by a factor of 10. Around, or it's maybe not quite a factor of 10, but around the 95. Rather than 950, I'm around 95,000 ohms instead of 950,000 ohms. So what does that mean for wet skin? Well, what it means is that if I touch an electrical socket with wet skin, my resistance is 10 times smaller. So the current that flows inside me is going to be 10 times greater for the same voltage. That means that I could have some really, really nasty electric shops. So we absolutely have to take any precautions we can to stop people um, touching live electrical wires while they have wet skin.